my name is Musa and I was invited by Selu onto her YouTube channel to tell you guys about my journey from high school to where I am today. So I attended Bryanston High School, which is a school that's right here in Haugding in Joburg. And currently I am a third year medical student at Fitz University. So you want to know how I got here? I'm going to let you know. So first of all, um, let's start with entry requirements and things like that. And with regards to applying directly um, to the MBVCH degree and not via um, GEMP, um, the first thing that I guess we did was obviously, you know, prepare for the NBTs besides having your marks ready from grade 11 and stuff like that. Preparing for your NBTs, I, I wing that. That's the truth. I actually wing those tests. Um, and I think the reason is because I did not know that I had to really, really prepare for them. Um, but if I had to give advice in retrospect, it would definitely be for the English literature one, read your basic literature, read your newspapers, read your articles, anything that is grammatically correct, um, pay attention in English class. You get a lot of small tips and tricks and then, you know, cause like right now I was struggling with how to spell achieve because of the I before E except after C rule. And I was just like, what has happened? So, Pay attention to those small things, you'll definitely be fine for the English um, literature part. And then for the maths, if you're paying attention in maths class, you'll also fly by through. Because the NBTs aren't really there to catch you out as you would think, but they're just basically there to test your logic, your problem solving skills, to test your abilities to understand how you understand and how you put information together, how you analyze. That's really what the NBT is about. So don't stress too much about those, you will be fine, especially if you're doing well already in English and in maths. Second thing is um, your APS points or score. This year for 2021 applications, they're counting them differently. So do make sure you go onto the web, into the VITS website to make sure that you, you are familiar with the new requirements or I guess you would say that because when we were still in matric they were counting APS you know depending on your percentage you'd get those points and you maybe had like to have like I don't know 32 or 34 or something like that um, but now what they're doing is that they're basically taking five subjects English mathematics physical science or life science and your two other top subjects and whatever percentage not symbol that you got in those subjects will be counted as towards your admission score and that will count towards your application so as long as you make sure you're getting above level five for your subjects for most of your stuff actually for all your subjects make sure you're getting above 60 percent and they'll do their thing and then it'll count towards your application so once you've done that obviously you know then you just you finish your application make sure please make sure you also apply for res um i didn't know i had to apply for res i, I don't know i don't know there's so many things i just didn't know but i guess that's why i sell his channels here <laughs> make sure that you apply for res um the closing date is the 30th of september right now the date for the mbvch degree has closed closed on the 30th of june um, unfortunately but um, next year for anybody who's applying for next year if you know you know your dates so please make sure that you apply for is after you finish your applications and then you wait right and then you wait and then the matric marks come out and it's a great time and you're like yes I passed with my you know my seven eight nine distinctions you know yeah that's you guys so <laughs> you pass and then a few days later boom offers the offers are coming in you're getting the sms's the emails it's like accept your offer and you're like yes that's mbch i'm there after accepting your offer my darling make sure you find out when you need to register that was one thing that i did not know i had to do i didn't know registration was a thing i didn't know it but i had no idea guys those such things such as registration i know i know i know i'm sorry but it just it happened to me so make sure that you know when MBBCH the registration opens or closes, even if you just check online, the information is generally just there. Make sure you register, generally you register online, and then yeah, you good, you good, you good. Um, but an important thing that I do want to emphasize, especially in the process while you're still in matric coming into university, is application for bursaries. When you are fresh out of matric, they are hunting down for you. They literally, they are ready, they are willing to fund you. Once you pass that first year mark and you move on to second year or third year, getting funding is not easy. Already funding for the medical degree is something that is like 
at the bottom of the pool party of bursaries and scholarships but if you apply especially coming straight out of matrix the opportunities really really are there so i want to encourage you guys please go check the closing dates for all your different bursaries um you know research google um ask around ask your teachers ask people who are in university ask selu um and hopefully you get the information that you need get the certifications the affidavitations all those things and put it all together and make sure that you apply for your bursaries because they are sponsors especially if you're fresh out of matric but once you pass that mark once you're in second year once you're in first it's not easy to secure funding as a medical student um so please fresh out of matric the opportunities are there make sure that you just look for them and you apply for them um and then then you're in first year right you're in first year and it's an exciting time um and i think first year was a really great time for me i enjoyed the first year experience i enjoyed being with my new colleagues i enjoyed feeling weird in a new little space but i was like no girl you don't just got your little shell actually i don't really have a shell i really don't have a shell actually i don't have a shell but it, it's, it's a new space and you have to adapt and you know so first year is a really great time for me and i really really enjoyed it um you you're in a space where no matter who you are i've found there is somebody for you there's a friend out there somebody who does who you'll vibe with no matter how weird or different you think you actually are but really there is somebody out there for you so that's i guess what i appreciate the most about university and adapting and you know you know getting to do new things and getting to see different things it's always an exciting opportunity um so it first year was fun and i guess in my university career thus far um one of my easiest no let's start with the most difficult module so when i was in first year physics physics is the one that upper cut me here left right and center and towards the end of the year i i got a tutor and uh, one of the physics tutors we had he was like look if you really need help i'm here and I, he really just showed me how to do these calculations guys and i was like so physics is just maths it's just maths but it was very difficult for me to go through physics i had to do a lot of extra research so that was really one of my harder subjects but we got through guys we managed and we got through well actually to, at the end of the year so don't be scared to ask for help this is university like this is the place where it is okay for you to ask for help i know that generally as medical students you think you're like smart and like you know in high school everyone was asking you for help but when you get to varsity everyone's on the same plane everyone is on the same plane and we all struggle with different things i mean i had people i knew people who were doing great at your mathematical subjects your chemistries and your physics and stuff but then you also have psychology and the sociologies and then some of them they were just like i really don't this why am i doing this you know so you know those kinds of subjects you know that have a little bit more philosophy and thinking and you know all that you know kind of stuff then they just not be doing great in those subjects so depending on the kind of person that you are depending on what you like um you'll find certain things easier than others which comes brings me to my second point which was the question of what was my easiest module so far and the reason why i said it brings me to that point is because generally what you enjoy is easy so or let me say what you easily understand you tend to like more <laughs> and when you like more you want to learn more so the more you like what you're learning it'll be easier for it to just stick with you and for me that was physiology i love physiology i just i can't get enough of the human body it just it, every time it just amazes me like the smallest things just get to me and i'll just sit there and I'm like guys can we ponder on this for a moment you are telling me this thing communicates with this thing through this thing or this thing regulates this thing this way and it's just like wow this is amazing i love physiology it's always been one of the things that's been easy for me to learn um and i i guess that was definitely something that i enjoyed a lot um and it's it's it's, it's a given considering the subject that i am doing or the the degree the kind of degree that i'm doing um sally asked me to also mention what keeps me going when the going gets tough um and what advice i would give um overall to anybody who wants to come into medicine What keeps me going is God. God grounds me to the ground. Literally, guys, like who holds me down? <laughs> God holds me down. 
um, because he's patient with me, it allows me to be patient with myself. And because he's loving towards me, it allows me to be loving towards myself. So even when I don't do as well as I want to or as well as I expected, he's not sitting there with the whip and being like, Musa, why'd you fail this test? You know, I'm going to punish you. No, he's like, baby girl's okay. Calm down. You know, do some retrospective reflection. You know, what could you have done different? How do you want to do something better? You know, do you want to study? What was it the studying? Was it the content? Did you not put enough time into it? You know, so I guess reflecting in that sense and just being patient with yourself and just being okay with yourself because God is patient and loving with you. It definitely grounds me and helps me to not freak out or to not be too mad at myself to the point where I just feel like I don't want to do this anymore. So really, that's really important. And I think also finding little things that are non-academic that make you happy if you love eating ice cream hell go buy ice cream if you love exercising keep gymming if you want if you love sports join your res team or something like that if you enjoy painting you know get yourself a little painting kit and paint in your spare time if you love reading read little things if you love waking up in the morning and dancing to pop tunes that is me I, 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 that is me i do do that on saturday mornings if you enjoy baking and eating and you know just having good food and all that stuff whatever that makes you feel happy makes you feel good um you know i think if you can find those things that are positive hone on to those things because they will help you when academically you feel like i just can't anymore you feel tired they'll definitely definitely pull you through and any last minute advice i'd like to give is to just say you know what you know yourself and if you feel like you don't know yourself that's okay that's okay too there are people who have their lives figured out and they they're there they're like i know one two three four five abc and then there's some people who are literally just taking things in little bits and pieces as they go by and whichever one you are that is okay just know that this degree is not for a specific type of person this degree is for anybody who's really just willing to put in the effort who's willing to fall in love with the subjects if you're willing to fall in love with your anatomy your physiology your sciences if you're willing to just fall in love just open to it you'll fall into it and like when you fall into a pool when you start to relax you just float you start fighting the water that's how i feel about this degree so when if you just open and you just relax and you let you let the water carry you you'll float through it um occasionally you'll be like oh my gosh there's like a big raging wave coming through but then you'll be like remember the water will hold you up so just that's that's my last minute advice to just say there isn't a specific type of person this is for if you are open if you're willing this degree will definitely be good to you um, despite what other people say as well <laughs> and that's another thing is people have different experiences because obviously we're all unique and different so don't take what each people experiences to heart know that you could have a completely different experience a completely sometimes even better than the experiences that other people have had so just be open let go flirt. and that's it from me guys and i wish you all the best of grace and luck um, for your applications and I hope that we'll be seeing you soon um, at Fitz University. Our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 